everyone, and welcome back to Tom Talk Stuff. I'm Glee Man Tom, and I'm happy to welcome you all back to another Dragon Ball discussion. Today's topic, the unrivaled and reckless selfishness of Goku. Oh man, do you remember back in the day when someone would ask you who's the most selfish character, or Z fighter, most especially, in DBZ? And it would immediately be Vegeta. Vegeta's the guy whose pride and ridiculous nature made him uh, concede to let Cell reach his perfect form. This is the same guy who put his fight with Goku and had his midlife crisis in a way that allowed Majin Buu to be reawoken. It was Vegeta. Vegeta's recklessness, pride, and selfishness made him the most selfish Z fighter. You know, we can argue that the... Uh, Frieza or, you know, some of those villains were much worse, but this is about the Z Fighters. But I've noticed as Super's gone on, and especially now that I'm watching Z in sub for the first time, that Goku's a hell of a lot more selfish than I thought. I remember watching um, Dragon Ball and having this reckless little kid who just loved to fight and it was endearing. And when he went to Dragon Ball Z, I watched it on Toonami um, back when it was first on, you know, Adult Swim. And <sighs> Toonami made Goku out to be a superhero. Toonami made Goku Superman. He was the guy that didn't allow any injustice. He was the guy who fought for justice and niceness. And uh, what was he saying against Frieza? He is the savior for all those who cry out for help. Um, but that's not how Goku is at all. And I'm noticing that more and more as I watch Dragon Ball Z in sub. Unfortunately, I haven't had a lot of time to really invest in it. I'm still only at the Frieza fight. Um, I actually haven't been able to watch it in over a week. I've had a lot of stuff going on, and I'm really kind of, oh, I need to get that fight going. But the fact is, is Goku's a lot more selfish than that dub that I grew up with told. I mean, he let Vegeta go in the Saiyan saga so that he could fight Vegeta again because the thought of Vegeta dying right then and right now was a waste. In the Frieza arc, he lets Frieza power up to 100% because he wants to fight him at his best. And they, in the dub, they played that more of, if I beat him like this, then he will never challenge anyone again. But that's not how it was. I mean, I'm pretty sure when I get there, we're going to see that. He's going to be like, I just want to fight him at his best because that's going to be fun. Um, and then we get into Super. And in Super, Goku rec rec recklessly challenges the God of Destruction, even though everyone's telling him not to. He challenges this man that blows up planets because his food was too salty or greasy or just stuff like that. And he picks a fight for fun. I mean, it's getting ridiculous. You're noticing that Super Vegeta has lost a lot of that. He's either hanging out with his family or he's training to better himself. But Goku pretty much kicks off the whole family bit, only visiting every now and then. Training is what's important to him. I mean, it's cool that we see him working and hopefully he's going to evolve and be a little bit less selfish. But then... We get to what's happening right now, and that's when he reminded Zenos of the uh, Zenchan of the Universal Tournament. And Beerus was saying, don't do it. Whis was saying, don't do it. Don't do it. You do not understand. And what happens? Goku reminds him. He's like, yeah, this is going to be fun. Let's do that. And guess what? The only certain... The only universe that will survive is the winner. That is Goku's recklessness. Goku's selfish desire to fight has brought about the end of the Omniverse. He has brought about the end. Now, it can be stated that, well, the Super Dragon Balls are going to be there and Goku or whoever wins is just going to wish for all of the universes to be brought back. But we don't even know if that's within the power of that almighty Shenron, you know? This is by far the worst thing he has ever done. And 
that's why Goku's never been my favorite character. It is. Goku's a fun character. Goku's a character I like. But Goku has never been my favorite character. It was Gohan growing up, and then once I did grow up, it became Vegeta. And that's just how it works. I've seen this meme out there that said um, childhood is when Goku is your hero, and adulthood is when Vegeta is your hero. And I thought that was actually true because Vegeta earns everything he has and Goku just lucks out or manages on his innate talent. So when it comes down to it, Goku just screwed everybody. And um, from my understanding of Toriyama, he's not going to... It, Goku may not win. I mean, really think about how many tournaments Goku has won. One. One. I can only... No, no, no. Yeah, one. One. He won the tournament at the end of Dragon Ball against Piccolo. The only other tournament he came close to winning... Well, he got second place and second place in Dragon Ball. But in Z, he got, uh, he got a tie with PyCon in the filler arc. And then there was the tournament at the end that we didn't really see what happened other than he, like, fought with Oob. But Goku does not win tournaments. He doesn't. Goku didn't win the uh, universe arc. Hey, Goku doesn't win tournaments. And here we have him starting a fight and threatening everything. And it's just ridiculous. Now, while I say this, I am extremely excited for the upcoming arc. I think this might be the best arc ever. I'm so happy that 17 is coming back. Krillin's going to fight again. He's got his groove back. I mean, I hope he's going to be doing some stuff. TN, I know a lot of Dragon Ball fans like myself have been hoping that the humans were able to do more in the future of Super. And now we have an arc where three humans are fighting and two androids. And those androids are basically part human. So... I mean, this is going to be great. I am so damn excited. Um, episode 78, I, oh, 79. 79? The one where Boo is going to fight. I'm not as excited about that because Boo has always been one of my least favorite characters, especially his uh, dubbed voice. This sub voice is a lot easier to handle. But his dubbed voice, hi, I'm Boo, Boo, it just drives me insane. Um, so I'm really excited about this upcoming tournament. I am... The Gohan fanboy in me is coming out wanting to see Gohan fight. And, you know, of course, all of Goku's fights are usually cool. So I'm I'm super excited. And let's hope Goku's selfish, reckless nature doesn't end it all. Oh, God. Let's really, really hope that. Well, that was it for this Dragon Ball Z discussion. Dragon Ball discussion. I said Z. I shouldn't have. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think this is the most reckless he's ever been? Who do you think is the most selfish character in Dragon Ball? Is it Goku? Is it Vegeta? I mean, do you remember when Piccolo wanted to take over the world for a while? That was pretty selfish. Um, what are your hopes for the future of this arc? Do you see it going well? Are the, are the Z fighters going to win it? Or is someone else going to win it? Is, it just, is this going to be the end of Dragon Ball? What do you think? Well, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more. There will be more coming. And uh, remember, you can follow me on Google+, Plus, t Tinder, and uh, Pinterest under Gleeman Tom. So, thanks for watching. Take care, and bye.